Hey friends, thanks so much for watching. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Meredith and today I'm so excited to be sharing with you my shed cleaning and organization video. This shed has been neglected for almost a year now that I have been living in the house. We have done a couple of things to the exterior and the interior. It was finally time to clean it out and make it so much more functional. So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. Make sure that you hit the like button if you enjoy these kinds of videos and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first thing that we had to do was take everything out of the shed and lay it in some kind of organized fashion on the deck behind the camera. I just kind of laid stuff in piles based on what it was. Nothing was in the shed in an organized fashion and I tried to get some before clips but I could barely get in the door and there was just too much stuff. It was piled everywhere. It was an absolute nightmare. So you're just gonna have to trust me when I say that it was a huge mess. But we've already done a couple of things to the outside of the shed. A new roof was put on and then some of the boards were replaced at the bottom that were rotten. And then there's definitely gonna need to be more stuff done. Some of the trim's gonna have to be replaced, a new front door, and then we're gonna paint the shed to actually match the new siding on the house. So all of that stuff is going to come sooner rather than later, but I wanted to get the inside organized. Since we have accumulated tons of tools during this home renovation process, I borrowed a lot of stuff from my dad, but even after returning everything to him, I realized how much stuff there was so we definitely needed to organize it a lot better and I kind of let Jack take the lead on how to organize and where to put stuff because he certainly goes in the shed more often than I do. <laughs> You guys are gonna see all of the things that we got at Home Depot, the hooks and crates and stuff that we found to organize the shed, but the first thing that we really had to do was clean out the shed. It had been swept down several times, but I think as time goes on, more dust and leaves and things just get in here, and we need to be a little bit better about sweeping it out more often. So I kind of let Jack take the lead on this. It was so dusty. Finally, he had to put a mask on. It was just too much. And I got in there to sweep off the workbench a little bit with a small hand broom. So we are just gonna get this cleaned up the best that we can before we move on to putting stuff back. I once felt I'm done with the defense. Throw back and climb over your fence. Hide to show, show you that I was a man. Shrugging your shoulders, I'm closed off. That's what I told you. Soon enough, everything started to change. Cause there's no going back, no going back. There's no going back to your own life. Not living in the past, we're over that. I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high. Once the inside was totally cleaned out, we were ready to move on to where we wanted to put all of our things in here. So the first thing that we did was install two shelves. There was already one piece of wood here, so we just had to get a second piece of wood. And I believe that this was a two by six could be a two by eight. I'm not 100% sure, but the cleats were already there, which is really nice. So we only had to get one piece of wood and then just attach them to these cleats. So we can use that as a shelving system. And then we found tons of hooks and things at Home Depot to kind of hang tools on the wall. We wanted to get them up off the ground. So we're just using a level here to kind of make sure that the hooks that we put into the studs are level, and then we can hang all kinds of things on them. Together. 
I knew that I wanted the back wall to be where the majority of the tools were hung just because there was no shelving system or anything on the back. So some of the tools we had to hang like this horizontally and then the rest we were able to hang vertically and you'll see that in just a little bit we put a piece of wood up there to be able to hang a few more things vertically. We also had to make sure that we cleaned off this workbench area and utilized the shelves to the best ability that we could and I figured the best way to do this would be by using crates. So I'm stacking all the paint cans on the right side and then I found these black crates at Home Depot and I do need to make labels which I think will make it much easier to grab what we need but there is gardening stuff in one and then there is car washing stuff in another and I ended up grabbing a few more for paint cans and other things like that as well. I think that this makes it so much easier so you're not kind of hunting especially because these shelves are so deep and so low to the ground. It is also really dark in this shed since there is no lighting besides the window and the door. So I wanted to make sure that we could find what we needed to really quickly without having to search very long. So the next day is when we put up the piece of wood here so that we can hang some more things vertically. I think that this was a perfect idea. We have this piece of wood actually left over. There was tons of leftover wood in the shed from the previous homeowner. So we were able to repurpose stuff, which I absolutely love saving money. So this was a huge win. And then we just attach this to the studs and then that way we're able to put a bunch of hooks in this giant piece of wood and then we can hang as many tools as we can possibly fit along it. We had lots of stuff that we already knew that we wanted to hang up but then of course I know as time goes on we're probably going to accumulate even more things so we wanted to leave some space to acquire new tools. We had several different kinds of hooks that worked. Some of these were shaped like a U shape, some were a C shape. It just kind of depends on what tool you're trying to hang up. But we kind of had to figure out the spacing for each one. And honestly, this part was kind of tricky. I have so many different attachments for the weed whacker. So we had to make sure that we space everything apart appropriately so that we could hang stuff up and it wouldn't knock into each other. Guess I'm just too scared to settle down There'd be many nights I got too high And almost left town But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk and too scared And lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us Gotta say In addition to the weed whacker, there was a shovel and a rake and a few other tools like that that we had to hang up as well. And then we made sure to leave, like I said, a small amount of space that was left just in case we get some more tools. And this is what the shed looked like when it was completely finished. We have even more space on these shelves where we could put other stuff and some of this is just kind of temporary. We were able to hang the ladder in here and this other tool that we use for the floor. And then the whole back wall is such an amazing way to hang all of this stuff. It gets it up off the floor and there is still space if we wanted to get some other tools to hang some other things. And the leaf blower, we were able to find space for that as well. And then what I love is this pegboard back here. This was already here, but we were able to find some hooks at Home Depot to hang up some of our small hand tools. That way we don't have to go fishing for them in a tool toolbox and then like I said the whole bottom shelf has all of these crates and stuff that we need to get labels for and then that way we know exactly what we're grabbing we can just pull it out but I think that this is such a clean way to keep things organized and contained you don't have to dig behind stuff to find what you are looking for and then the last thing that I did in this video was paint a small swatch so you guys can see what the color of the shed will be once we get it all painted but that is going to be it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching please make sure you hit the like button if you like these types 
types of videos. And if you are new to my channel, please make sure that you hit the red subscribe button before you go. And I will see you guys again very soon in a brand new video. Bye guys. Sorrows, my sorrows. Maybe one night you can play the